President Officer, I'm glad so many have turned up uh, to listen to my very important question. Um, to ask the Scottish Government what its response is to the reported comments by the General Secretary of School Leaders Scotland that a reduction in budget will lead to class sizes increasing, subjects being removed from the curriculum and a reduction in the number of teachers. Minister Jamie Hepburn. Uh, I have my own perspective as to how pleasing it is to see so many people here, uh, Presiding Officer. This Government has delivered the highest school spending and more teachers per pupil than any other UK nation. In Scotland, we have an overall pupil-teacher ratio, which is the lowest in the UK, at 13.2, compared to 18 in England and 18.5 in Wales. In our budget, we have sought to protect councils providing over £13.2 billion in the local government settlement for 2023-24. This funding package represents a real terms increase compared with 2022-23 and enables the continued delivery of high-quality education for our children. As part of this, we will continue to provide local authorities with specific funding of £145.5 million per year to support the school workforce. Investment education is at a record high, with resource and capital spending uh, up almost £200 million this coming financial year, one of the biggest rises in the history of this Parliament. Willie Reddy. I, I don't think the Minister heard what Jim Thulis said uh, on Sunday. He was clear. This is direct evidence from the classroom. Teacher numbers would be cut, class sizes would increase, and subjects would be removed. Is the Minister saying that he's wrong? Minister. Well, I don't think Mr Rooney listened to my question. I thought his question was very much predicated on the spending and the budget that we've uh, laid out. And as I've laid out very clearly, uh, there is a real terms increase. The education and skills resource budget uh, is up from £2.9 billion pounds to just over £3 billion. Pounds. The education and skills capital budget has increased from £506 million pounds to £566 million. Pounds. So this budget delivers a a funding package that represents a real terms increase compared with this financial year and enables the continued delivery of high quality education for our children. Yeah, yeah. Willie Rennie. I want to know what this means for the election promises that were made by his party last year. Will there be an additional 3,500 teachers and classroom assistants? Will the poverty related attainment gap be substantially eliminated in primary and secondary schools? And finally, will teaching contact time be reduced by 90 minutes each week? Minister. Well, we've laid out our uh, manifesto commitments and we'll look to, to take uh, them uh, forward. But what I can lay out, he mentions the Scottish Attainment Challenge, which of course is uh, raised uh, regularly, uh, and this part rightly because it's an important uh, issue. What I can say is that we will continue to invest £1 billion through the Scottish Team Challenge in this Parliament, representing a substantial increase on last term £750 million. That's specifically designed to tackle the attainment gap and drive education recovery. And, as I've already mentioned, we're providing over £145 million of additional, additional annual funding to ensure the sustained employment of additional teachers and classroom assistants. So we're doing what we can to make sure we deliver for Scotland's uh, young people at school. Co-Cap Stewart. Um, I thank the Minister for his previous responses and welcome the continued investment in our education system. Can I ask the Minister to advise how education spending in Scotland compares with the rest of the UK? Minister. Well, I can hear the groans already, so clearly the Tories already know the answer. Education spend in Scotland is £1,758 per person, which is over £300 more per person than England. £1,439 in England and it's £1,680 in Wales. We continue to support the recruitment of students into initial teacher education courses and the number of teachers per 100,000 pupils is 7,573 in Scotland compared to 5,734 in England and 5,636 in Wales. Yeah. Stephen Kerr. And thank goodness for record levels in the block grant. Yes. And it's not about inputs, Minister, it's about outputs. Scottish education ought to be the gift we give to Scotland's young people. With a promise of a better future, yet under the SNP there are now 900 fewer teachers. Their subject choice is down. Presentations at higher in STEM, five-year low, dramatic fall in modern languages. And there's now talk in the councils in central Scotland of shorter periods, shorter school days, a shorter school week, even fewer subject choices, and rising class sizes as ratios are ditched, and teachers are worried, more worried than they ought to be, about their safety in the classroom. It's hardly sunlit uplands, is it? 
is the minister as embarrassed as he should be? Minister. Uh, well, I, I have to say I'm actually very proud when I go out to see uh, the many achievements of young people the length and breadth of uh, this country, supported by uh, first-class uh, teachers. That's what I am uh, proud to say we have uh, in Scotland. Mr Kerr didn't, of course, uh, mention that. Maybe he uh, isn't out there actually encountering what is happening yeah. on the ground. In terms of uh, the uh, support that we have uh, for young people, in terms of the number of teachers, I've already made the point. I'll reiterate it again. I, I thank Mr Kerr for giving me the chance to do so. We uh, invest on £145.5 million of additional annual funding to ensure the sustained deployment of additional uh, teachers and classroom assistants. And that's why we have the best uh, pupil-teacher ratios in the entire of the UK. Yeah. Michael Mara. Uh, thank you, President Officer. I listened carefully to the Minister's response, um, and he clearly dodged the core question, which is around the manifesto commitments upon which they were elected. 3,500 additional teachers and reductions in classroom time. Is it not right that the pledge to 3,500 teachers under this budget is dead in the water? Minister. I've, well, I've responded to that question fully. We've laid out uh, our manifesto uh, commitments. We'll work to take them forward. Oliver Mundell. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Rural schools have already seen whole subjects removed from the timetable. Surely the Minister can't be proud that in parts of Scotland you can't take whole subject areas. That's not educational opportunities for all. How uh, can it be right that my Dumfrieshire constituents, uh, those at the likes of Moffat Academy, have less opportunities today than I did when I was at school? I can't be proud of that. Minister. Well, uh, I, I, I can't attest to uh, Mr Mundell's uh, education, but I can say, and I would go back to the point I've uh, already uh, made. If you go out and actually see what's happening in uh, our schools, if you look at the area I have responsibility for now, there's a, a much wider uh, array of uh, subject matter available in terms of technical uh, qualifications at the senior level. So uh, I am uh, very pleased to see an increased range of subject matter, an increased range of choices available to young people that, frankly, weren't available when, I don't know about uh, Mr Mundell's uh, time at school, but certainly weren't available when I was at school.